Looking over the lawn here, I can see there are a fair few issues with compaction. This is a common problem in lawns that receive a lot of traffic and general wear and tear. Basically what happens is that your soil gets squashed, you lose your soil structure, you lose your air spaces, and then air, water, and nutrients can't penetrate. The water just runs off and your lawn really suffers. Certain weeds like Bindi thrive in compacted lawns, and that's a good enough reason to take action. The good news is that the problem is fairly easily fixed by aerating the compacted lawn areas, and I've got a couple of ways to show you right now. Being a bit of a fashionista and gardening apparel model, I always love slipping into my aeration sandals at every possible opportunity. Just have a look at some of the features on these folks. You've got the rust resistant buckles, you've got the heavy duty nylon straps and the extra heel strap that keeps your boot and foot firmly in place when you're walking around. They're absolutely beautiful. Each sandal has 13 galvanized steel spikes, giving a total combination of 26 when you add the two together. And the penetration into the soil is nothing short of sensational. If you're wondering what size to get, don't panic. One size fits all. Another option is the lawn aerator that aerates by removing plugs of soil to aid water and fertilizer penetration. It's got a larger core with a bit more girth and deeper penetration. It's got sharpened aerated tubes and extra tough tubular steel head. And there are three tines at 115 millimeter spacings and it comes with a lifetime guarantee. What you can do, folks, once you finish the aerating is follow up the process with a really sandy top dressing mix that will go into the cores and help with the air and water penetration. You could follow up also with fertilising and a liquid feed with a compost in it would be perfect because then the liquid will go into the cores also and feed the soil and your lawn will love you for it. <laughs>